Hello, my name is Darren Thomas and I am the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to learn how to make a presentation using the LaTeX typesetting software. Now, by presentation, we're talking about something that is the equivalent to what you can do inside uh, Microsoft PowerPoints. Um, the primary benefit of using the, the presentation features inside LaTeX is that, again, the formatting is done for you and you're able to concentrate and focus on the content. Now, one other thing I need to mention before we begin is that when you move beyond writing documents with LaTeX and you start going into like making presentations or posters or other things like that that are more visual in nature, you have to somehow design in advance what you want the presentation or the poster or the picture to look like. Um, in uh, in uh, websites, we call this wireframing, where you draw it or you design it inside Microsoft Word or some sort of a GUI before you actually do it. Um, this is what you need to do going forward when you use more advanced features of LaTeX. So I just want to show you what our final product is going to look like. So you can see here, this is our, our title page right here. Um, the first slide you'll see in the presentation. This right here is the table of contents. And if I screen over this, I don't know if you can see this, but if you look closely, my mouse changes from an arrow to a little finger pointing. This indicates that these are links that are clickable. So in the table of content, we have introduction. If I click here, it'll go to the next page that has introduction, et cetera, uh, part one, and of course, part two. That's our table of contents. And right here is the first part, and you can see that it says see list below, but there's no list. But then on the next slide, you have a repeat of see the list below plus the information. This will make more sense when we talk about the coding and how this is a substitute for the animation features that are available inside Microsoft PowerPoint. And then, of course, you have your second part, and then you have the same slide again with the additional bullets. So this is our final product. And so if you were thinking about designing something, you need to try to conceptualize it first before you try to put it to code inside LaTeX. So why don't we go ahead and start doing our code here. So we, go, we have to do our document class, of course, first. And we're going to use something called Beamer. That's what we're going to use. This is our document class. And we have to pick a theme. And we're going to just pick default. Um, there are about 20 themes, I believe, that come with LaTeX pre-installed. And default is just one of many. So after this, we have to begin our actual document. You should have seen this before in other videos. And lastly, we have to end our document because otherwise I will forget. That's my personal habit. Now, first, we're going to, to supply the information that will appear on the title page. So I'm going to type title like so. And then we're going to call it example presentation. That's the name of this. And then we're going to go ahead and put author. And we're going to put yours truly like so. And we're done with that. So that is what the title page will look like, but it's not going to print the title page yet. I have to use the command begin and I have to put the uh, argument inside it called frame. This is going to create an actual frame for our PowerPoint or our presentation, if you will. And so on this first uh, frame, we're going to put title page. So what the title page command is going to do is it's going to take this information right here that we put there. And of course, Whenever you begin an environment, you have to end it. So I'm going to type frame again, but using the end command. All right, so that's set up now. Just so you can see how things are going, let's see how this looks so far. I need to save it, that's standard issue. Uh, so after you give it a name, yes, I wanna replace. Everything is set and you can see our first slide is done. It looks just like what we looked at in the final product. So we're going in the right direction. Now, after you do that, we're going to make our actual table of contents. Begin. So frame. And we're going to give it the name outline. You can give it any other name you want, but that's what we're choosing. And so now we're going to use the command table of contents. And we're going to use the pause optional, pause sections optional um, argument. What the pause section argument is supposed to do is that it allows you to reveal what is in the PowerPoint by section? Now, the only problem we have is that we only have one section. Uh, if this is not clear, it'll make sense in a minute, but we only have one section called introduction. Um, but going forward, this will be useful for you if you have a more complex presentation. All right, there. And so 
table of contents end. Oh, got to do frame here. Otherwise, I'll get an error message. And there we go. So table of contents end now. So we have our table of contents now. But if we if we compile our document now, nothing will be there because we haven't put in the actual sections and subsections of our document. So we need to do that first. So section here, and we're going to call this introduction again. You can give it whatever name you want, especially if you're more familiar with our tech. And then, of course, we got to have a subsection. And we're going to call it part one, like so. And now we're going to make our next frame. So we're going to do begin frame. And so here's what's happening. We're going to have a place in our PowerPoint or our presentation called introduction. And then we're going to have a subsection called part one. And this frame right here on line number 14 is going to be the first frame inside part number one. So begin frame, and we're going to call it first part. This is the name. So what I'm doing in the second curly braces is kind of like it's kind of like the, the title of the slide. Just like when you go inside Microsoft PowerPoint and you click on the banner at the top, that's where you put the name of the slide. Same idea here. So this is a slide called first part. And now we're going to put information on this slide. So we're going to say see the list below, like so. And then I'm going to put in something unique called the pause command. What the pause command does is this. And this is very hard to explain, so see if you can try to listen carefully, please. We are telling uh, LaTeX that at the end of this line, we want you to make a second slide that will have this information plus whatever I type below it. That's what we're doing. And what this does is that it's a substitute for animation. As you know, inside Microsoft PowerPoint, you can set up animation so that bullets appear individually or however you want. LaTeX does not quite have those features in its presentation package. So instead, what it does is that it'll print line by line on separate slides. And so by doing that, it looks like animation. It looks like things are appearing, but it's a new slide with the information from the last slide plus the information of the new slide. And because it's all the same except for the new information, it appears to be animation. Now, let me see if I can make this clear. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a list using the itemize environment. And we're going to just make example one here. I'm going to copy this and do it again and just call this example two. We're going to end our itemized environment. And then, of course, we need to end our frame. That's what we're doing right here. Oh, OK. So we have completed section number, subsection number one. And so at this point, I would like to compile this and show you what's happening so far. All right. So. Here's our example presentation, yours truly. Here's the date. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, we're still working on our outline. That's not quite complete yet. But you can see here, first part, and then see the list below right there. So things are moving along nicely. But we're not quite finished with it just yet. So what we're going to do now is <clears throat> we're going to create subsection number two. Now, it's all the same, basically. I just need to make a few adjustments. So I'm going to save time by copying and pasting this. And I'm going to make a few changes. So we're not going to call this part one again. We're going to call it part two. And then in line 22, we're going to call it second part. And then for the see the list below, we're going to change this to more below. Those are the changes that we're going to make there. All right, so let me see if I can make this clear. It's mostly the same information, except that it's called subsection part two on line 21. On line 22, we begin our frame, and we call it the second part. That's the title of the slide. And so the slide begins with more below, pause. This will be its own slide. And then on the next slide, you'll see more below again, plus this little itemized list here, example one, example two. In frame, all right, and then we have in document at the bottom. So that is the completed one. So. If we compile this, hopefully it'll work. And you can see it's nice and beautiful. All right. I think I need to compile it one more time because it doesn't have my part two. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, that's what it should look like. OK, now uh, I want to show you what this looks like in the PDF viewer. So here's the original PDF. And hopefully now you can understand how the pause button works. So when you use the pause command, notice how you see this statement, see list below. Now, this is on the same slide 
as itemized, but it's separated because of the pause. And so when we do the animation, you'll see this alone. And then when you click again, you'll see the example one, example two, and that's where it looks like you have animation. So let's go ahead and start this from the beginning. So this is the presentation. Okay, example presentation. And here's the outline, uh, nice and beautiful. And again, if you click on these, it'll take you to things automatically. And then here we go, see list below. And then when I click again, wow, example one, example two. Now, to the audience and even to the presenter, it appears like there was animation there. It disappears, it appears. But this is one slide, this is the second slide. But because there's redundant information here in the exact same place, you know, you would think it was all on one slide. And that's the beauty of it. It's a way to have animation without animation. And so here's our second part. You know, you can see the, the heading right here and then more below and then wow, again, it looks like there's animation. And then of course the PowerPoint is over. So that is the beauty of the LaTeX presenter. Um, it gives you a lot of really cool features and saves you a lot of time without having to, you know, overwork yourself. So in this particular video, we learned how to deal with the presentation features inside LaTeX. You learned how to create a frame, how to create a title page, how even to give the appearance of, um, what do you call it, the appearance of animation and also how to you can also employ the different t standard features of LaTeX, making lists, making tables, making fields. All that is possible when you are trying to make presentations inside LaTeX. And this was a very, very rudimentary introductory example of what to do. So we would like to thank you for watching this video, and we hope that you will watch future videos later. Take care.